Bom, se tu viu o radar de ontem, tu viu que eu tava conversando com o Real Big Fish e hoje eu vou bater um papo com os caras da Goldfinger. São da mesma época ali, início dos anos 90, Califórnia, todo um movimento cultural acontecendo. Eu vou bater um papo com os caras. Hello man, how are you? Thanks for having us, man. We appreciate it. Uh, this my first question is how how is to, to do the, the sound check without your, your vocalist, John Feldman? Uh, it's actually it's pretty commonplace than you would think. I mean, he shows up to maybe 50% of the sound checks. Uh, most of the time, he's traveling or has his family with him. Today, his excuse is pretty good. He he cut his leg really bad last night in Rio. He's got a big gash on his leg, so he's kind of recovering from that. He jumped off the stage and I smacked his leg and had to go to the hospital and get stitched up. John is is an activist from vegan and animal rights. Uh, what do you think about that, guys? Um, I don't eat vegans personally, but uh, it's John's deal. Ask John. I don't care. You know, uh, he's uh, you know that's that's John's thing. It's something that he's passionate about, and it's, it means a lot to him, and uh, it's a good cause. So, if he brings attention to it, and a few people change their lifestyles for the better, then so be it. I think that commercial music can be political. That punk bands can be political? Uh, commercial music. A conventional. Oh, commercial. Commercial, 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 commercial. Commercial music. Commercial. commercial music being political. Yeah, I suppose, I mean, to a point. I mean, some bands take it a little too far, like the punk band Annie Flag. And I love Annie Flag. I think they're wicked good guys and a super good band. But it just seems like every song's about something political. And I mean, it Clash did it to a, to a certain extent, I suppose. Um, but when it when it's when it's just like when it's too much, I have to pull away. I mean, no effects. They talk about political issues as well, but they also like to have their tongue firmly planted in their cheek and talk about farts and and chicks and drugs and you know having a good time. And but that, every now and again, they'll touch on a pretty serious t subject. So I think it's cool if a band does it 50-50, 50% heavy issues, 50% farts and dicks and penises and pussies and farts and cocaine. I like Anti Flag. Um, I think they're an awesome band. Um, I don't know. It depends on the band and the person. If a person's very smart about it and they do it in a smart way, I'm all for it. I mean, I'm waiting for everybody, everybody in the U.S. to start writing songs about Wall Street. You know, with everything that's going on there, it seems people are getting more and more pissed off about being screwed over by the rich corporations. I'll say corporate, not the rich people, the rich corporations. So, um, I think music's, it's good to be stupid sometimes and not like, I don't always want to be like, oh, I turn off the news, but sometimes I want to be informed. And I think, you know, if it's a good way to reach people, if, if, if people listen to you, I mean, look, you asked us questions about being vegan and, you know, and stuff like that. So clearly uh, musicians, they have a soapbox they can stand on. If they do it properly, I think it's good, but to be preached at all the time, all the time, it gets a little, it's a little pointless, a little redundant, but um, if it's a good cause, I mean, people should be aware of what's going on, you know, next thing you know, you'll be in a cage and someone will be eating you, if you don't pay attention. And what about this movement in Wall Street that he said? Oh. What's your opinion? Uh, I think everyone should be informed on what's going on. I think, uh, I don't know. I think there's a certain element of uh, people who want to maintain their money and their power, and if it, I think they like to keep the people stupid and feed them stupidity. What do you think about Obama's government? Uh, I, you know, I think uh, I think he's trying to do things that are right, but I think he's also just another paid politician. I mean, I I want to believe. Show me some change and some hope. But um, you know, he put in the head of agriculture. He put in one of the most evil people for this company, Monsantos. That you know what I'm talking about. And he puts puts that guy in as the head of agriculture? Come on. As soon as he did that, lost my vote.
Do you write for the teenagers somehow? Do I like teen? Do I like you, teenagers? You, you write, 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 write. Do you write? Uh, I don't think so. I think I, th I think we write just for like ourselves. And if we think it's cool and it's badass and it's something we can sing along to, then we hope that teenagers will like it. We hope we hope that all age groups will like it, not just teenagers. I mean, twenties, thirties, forties, fifties. Who knows? We just we've never gone down and said we need to write a song for a teenager. It's just like, hey, here's a song. What do you think? And most of the time, we all collectively agree and go, that's pretty sweet. And we record it. The only thing I ever consciously go is, we need some sing-alongs. Whoa! As long as we got some of those, I'm happy. Your last album was released in 2008. Yes. Are you planning on Leo material? We're planning on it. We'll see if it happens, but we're planning on it. We Didn't you guys track? We got six songs we done. Some drums. Six songs are done, uh, well, drum-wise, and then we're going to do another six or seven, and then from there decide which 10 or 12 are going to make the record. And there's talk of putting it out on our own label. I mean, everybody else is doing it. We might as well do it. Uh, we're not signed to anybody right now. We're totally free agents. We can do it when we want, where we want, and how we want. You know, so that gives us a lot of creative control. And uh, we're looking at, like, I suppose January, or not January, I'm sorry, take that back. Uh, June, July 2012. So sometime we'll be back probably in Brazil by then. September. We want to come back and do some festivals. Have us back for festivals, okay? Make it happen. Please, now. Well, make it happen. Faça acontecer. É isso aí. Guys, thanks a lot. Um, eu fico aqui, me despeço com o pessoal do Goldfinger. Agora a gente vai curtir um trechinho do show dos caras aqui no Opinião, que eles tocaram junto com o Real Big Fish. Valeu!